It seems you have done well, little mortal. I hear you killed Mehrun's Dagon's high priest and stopped the planes from merging. I find you to be... interesting. I will remember that the next time I require the assistance of a mortal agent. You must realize that the events surrounding Levik's secret and the four ambitions have not yet reached their climax. When next Dagon and his followers emerge from the shadows, I will be waiting to see what they do. And then, I'll send for you. You're not wearing that dashing outfit I sold you? If today's celebration is not the perfect occasion to dress up, I don't know what is. Perhaps you should visit my shop again to freshen up your wardrobe, hmm? Why? Shouldn't a leading Leowin business person attend a celebration for all of Blackwood? Besides, after I let word slip that you and Everly had patronized my shop, business has been booming. Everyone just has to know which outfit you selected. I wanted you to know how appreciative I am of what you've done for us. Not only did you reveal Vandasia for the traitor he was, you took him down and saved Blackwood. Countess Cairo and the Chamber of Legates, thank you. You're always welcome here. Plans? The same as they were before this trouble started. Work with Gideon to secure our borders and keep the war from impacting Blackwood directly. Make sure our communities stay safe and prosper. If not for you, none of that would even be possible. Again, thanks for helping me with such a difficult decision, but I think it's for the best, right? There are so many wonderful stories yet to spin. Look around us. I'm sure there must be some steamy goings on to discover. Oh, I'll be all right, eventually. Tragic love stories are the thing of legends, aren't they? I'll be sure to compose a gripping story about him. It will be a tale for the ages. Try not to draw any unnecessary attention, would you? We already stick out like a sore thumb with Aerithel gaping over the scenery. Trying to blend in. Badly. Just wanted to say farewell before we skip town. Figure we owe you that much after you salvaged that job for us. Surprisingly, yes. We got that hunk of junk to our buyer, and they were thrilled to take it off our hands, even in its busted condition. I expected a high elf collector to be more fussy. Things worked out for everybody but the painted eye. Back to give the guild its cut and report on Erethos' progress, or lack thereof. She did manage to show some improvement this time, but she's not ready to leave the nest. Plus, I don't hate anyone at the guild enough to inflict her on them. Ooh, fancy party. Look at you making friends in all the high and low places. I bet a few of these folk have a plump pouch in their drawers. What? No! Well... Maybe just the little snacks coming by on the trays, but that's what you do at parties, right? Six and I just wanted to check in on you. He says maintaining good contacts is important in the business. Plus, you know, free food. Six was afraid we'd get fleeced on the payment, but the old guy was totally fine with it being busted. He was relieved even. Said it's one less dangerous object in the world. Turns out he's got a vault full of cursed stuff. Weird thing to collect. We'll be getting back to the guild with our dues. I'm sure after this job I'll be a fully-fledged thief. Oops. Full-fledged thief. Then Lady Twilight will make her debut for real. We should do another caper soon. Yeah! So, any chance I could talk you into enlisting in the Ivory Brigade? No? I didn't think so. 
I want to thank you for helping us with all this. I hate to imagine what would have become of Blackwood if not for you and Everly. I'm in your debt. What do you want? It is good to see you again, and to learn that your heroism did not end with my friends and I. I must thank you again for what you did for us. Destroying the idol of Zulonat continues to have a lasting impact. They are well. Thank you for asking. It will take time for all of us to recover from the horrible things we witnessed. But you gave us that chance. We will never forget that. Councillor Leviticus' suggestion is wise. If not Governor Keshu, someone in Gideon should know where to find the Ojel Bok. If it's actually a place, that is. Just make sure you watch out for my sister. Everly is good, but she's still learning. What is it? It seems like you've been rather busy. I heard you would be here today, so I thought I'd stop by. I finally paid off my debt to Lars Tull, thanks to you. I'm free. Never thought I'd be able to say that again. Home, I think. It turns out there were some wealthy people in Leowin willing to pay to keep their relatives' involvement with the cult of the Unmaker from coming to light. I made out like a bandit. Now I can pay off my family's debts, too. Honor to you and your house, Sarah. It's good to see you again. The news is favorable. My letter to the Magisters convinced them that the Phantasmal Censor is a worthy enterprise. I'm to carry on Revis' work. I believe my teacher is in good standing. For now. The wise mage is the mage who can learn from their mistakes. I may not have underestimated Revis's skill, but I definitely underestimated his tenacity and faithfulness. I learned a great deal, and that is worth all the trauma. Ah, greetings. I heard you're to blame for all this reckless frivolity. <laughs> no great surprise there, eh? Well done. I'll try not to knock anything over or set anything on fire. No promises, though. Yes, as a matter of fact. Tyrus's letter was very well received in Tel Naga. The Magisters want to see the Phantasmal Censor at work. Can you believe that? Yes. Well, no. Sort of. I'm giving the Censor to Tyrus. All the pomp, plotting and vanity among the Magisters. It's just not for me. I only made the Censor to keep them off my back. This way, Tyrus gets what he wants, and I get some peace. Indeed. I've got all sorts of ideas for a new book of Overmancy. Eggs with smaller eggs inside. <laughs> Brilliant, right? Don't... Just don't answer that. Everyone's been talking about the things you've done for Blackwood. I had no idea you'd been so busy. I find myself edified, enlightened, and exhilarated by the tale of your heroics. Felavon himself could not have done better. Yes, I have. The relics we recovered from Undertow Cavern turned out to be exactly the sort of proof I needed to convince other scholars that someone important had been entombed there. I am voracious, victorious, and vindicated! I had no plans to leave my cavern where the magic of the Eternal flow, but I had to see this little celebration for myself. It seems I made a wise decision. The drinks here taste more refined than Otumi Ra's bug water. Perhaps I may learn the recipe. In a party with this many people, I find it quite simple to sneak extra drink unnoticed. 
A little misdirection and someone's food vanishes from their plate. Just a little game I play with myself. It is time to feast and make merry! Where is the cake? Where is the drink? Point me to the games of strength. None of these dry-skinned Bicos shall leave this party unchallenged. This party is exactly how I like them. Keshu the Blackfin really knows how to throw a celebration. Reminds me of the feasts that Otumi Ra throws. We might be up until the morning frogs sing. Well, after you left, we discussed moving on, but the winds convinced us to stay. We fought for our home. Leaving would hollow out our victory. So, the rebuilding has begun. Feel welcome to visit should the marsh breeze ever blow you in our direction. Well? Oh, a party was just what I needed to calm my nerves after what happened at the Zonmir. It's sort of refreshing to attend a function where I'm not the primary servant doting on the crowd. No, unless you count these tiny balls of goo that keep following me around. Lady Laurent says she catches glimpses of other me's in the crowd, but I think that's just her nerves. She can be quite tense and irritable if she skips her afternoon tea. It's good to see you, friend. I wanted to make sure you knew how thankful I am for rescuing Stibbins from all that slime. Good help. Well, mediocre help is so hard to replace. Oh, and I heard you saved Blackwood. Congratulations on that. <laughs> oh, I'm sure there'll be another adventure. And Stibbins goes where I go. I can't seem to get rid of him no matter how hard I try. <laughs> no, no, I jest. I wouldn't think of leaving him behind. Who else would carry all my packages? He's very good at that. 